Hello, my name is Julien Sobrier. I'm a security researcher at this killer. I've uh, released a plugin for um, Safari, Google Chrome, and Firefox that uh, helps users to protect against uh, Facebook spam. So here is an example of a typical uh, Facebook spam page. This looks like a video player, but if I click on the play button here, I will actually post a link to this page in my Facebook profile. You may have this seen this kind of page on uh, on your own profile or in your um, friend's profile. I have a video that explains uh, exactly how the um, spammer hides uh, the Facebook widget. Uh, you can look for it on, uh, on YouTube. The browser extension does a couple of things. Here is an example in, uh, in Google Chrome. So you can see here um, uh, this killer uh, like jacking prevention plugin um, icon with a red background. Uh, red background means this page is suspicious. I can click on it to get some information. I can see that there are four widgets on this page that this page uh, is suspicious. And what, can, what I can do here is um, show the hidden widget on the page. So I click on show all Facebook widget and I can see the, the widgets that are um, on the page. If I go to a page where there are Facebook widgets but they are not hidden, I get uh, an icon with a green background, meaning the page is safe. And I can get the same kind of information. Here there's only one widget. And if there are no Facebook widget at all, there's no icon. So in addition to get information about the page and, and get a warning when the page is suspicious, um, the, the, the plugin can, uh, can protect yourself. Um, by asking an explicit confirmation when you click on a like button. So by default, on any suspicious page, the plugin will prompt you for uh, confirmation when you click on a Facebook widget. Let's try here. So here there is a Facebook widget under the uh, image. And see here it says the element you clicked on is trying to post your Facebook profile. To block the post, click OK to um, permit the post, click cancel. So if I don't want to post a link to this page on my Facebook profile, I'm going to click OK. So no, n so I'm safe. Um, I didn't see the Facebook like widget. I clicked on it, but because I say don't post it, uh, it's not going to my Facebook profile. Um, you actually have different level of protection. So I can go to my preferences here. Um, what I can do is request confirmation only on, on pages that are suspicious. Um, if you don't use uh, Facebook uh, widgets too much, if you don't click on like buttons too often, you can request confirmation to all Facebook widgets, um, even when they are not hidden. So if I uh, choose this option, when I go to a safe page that contains a uh, Facebook widget, I, can, I will get prompted for confirmation if I choose this option or it can be uh, even safer and just delete all Facebook widgets. I can show it, show it to you here. I click on save. I go to the safe page with a Facebook widget here. I refresh the page to get the new um, option and see here the Facebook widget just disappeared. So I, I won't have any uh, like button or any other kind of Facebook widget like the comments on the page. So let's say this plugin works for uh, Google Chrome, uh, Firefox. Here is an example. Um, it looks pretty much the same. You can see here the red icon in the URL bar. If I go to a safe page, I can you can see the the green, and there's no icon if the page is uh, doesn't have any Facebook widget. I get the same kind of information: uh, number of widgets. I can um, go to my preferences, I can um, show all hidden widget. Um, and if you think that we are reporting something wrong about the page, uh, you can click on the, on the error link and it will open to a new uh, page on our zscaler.com website. And you can tell me um, this page is not suspicious. Uh, if you want us to reply to you, you can give your email address, but you don't have to. And that way we will be able to improve the, the plugin based on your feedback. 
I can add uh, any website to um, to the to the whitelist. So, um, for example, if um, I choose to uh, request confirmation for all Facebook widgets, but I don't want to do it on this website, I can simply uh, add the domain name to the whitelist. And now, um, it will ch in my preferences, it will be um, whitelisted for all actions. And finally, this is the same kind of thing on the uh, same plugin on uh, Safari. And same thing. This this time, instead of getting a, uh, an icon in the URL bar, which is not possible, unfortunately, on Safari, you get a toolbar here that shows up only when there is a Facebook um, widget on the page. And you can also get more options um, with the same action. You can um, show whole hidden Facebook widgets, uh, report an error, um, add the domain to the whitelist. And there is a link to get more information about Facebook Live Jacking. Uh, we'll, I'll be looking at uh, releasing this uh, browser add-on for, for more uh, web browser, probably Opera, maybe um, Internet Explorer in a couple of uh, weeks or months, and um, uh, Firefox Mobile Fennec. So if you want to, to download the plugin, you can go to uh, the Google uh, Chrome, Chrome Store for, um, for Google Chrome. It's free. Uh, you can download it on our website at research.zscaler.com for Firefox and Safari. I'm going to submit the add-on to, um, to both the Mozilla and Safari website, but it usually takes at least a couple of weeks before they, are, they can be um, displayed on the official website. So for now, you can get it from our website at research.zscaler.com. Thank you.